up, trillionaires? Listen, we are back. All right, I'm going to give y'all time to get on. You know, for those who was on the podcast, it was an amazing podcast. I just wanted to come over and talk about what just went down. What just went down and bring somebody up to the stage. You have me? So let me know what you're coming in. At. Okay, okay. She on like this like already. Okay, let's get it. So, yes. If y'all haven't caught the, the podcast show today, the Go Hard or Go Home podcast show, make sure you tune in and catch the replay at Go Hard or at GHGH Podcast Live.com. All right. Always go to YouTube and go ahead and search Go Hard or Go Home podcast. You'll find the podcast show and then here's what happens when you find the podcast show. I want you to like, smash that like button and smash that, that subscribe bell. Oh, you want to say that. Oh, you want to say that, right? Smash that like button. And bing, hit that subscribe bell. Now, share this live with 10 people you love or hate. Don't matter because they're going to get the sauce anyway. Right? Share this live because I'm about to bring up this amazing person that just blazed the podcast. Blazed the podcast. So if you have a sort of podcast, the Go Hard or Go Home podcast, you can go to, which is this right here, Go Hard or Go Homeless. You know what time it is. Time to go hard or go homeless. So, go ahead and uh, follow the page at GHGH podcastlive.com watch the replay of today's uh, podcast with, with, with Miss Leah went over business credit funding business structure and many many more I'm talking about the social drop so crazy so I want you to go ahead and start sharing it right now because I'm about to bring up this amazing person to talk about what we just talked about right on the podcast but give a little source give a little we had to have a part two we just had to right so let me go ahead and get this woman to come up here so we can have a conversation about what we just blazed about two hours, two hours ago. Now, while I'm doing this, make sure if you go ahead and share it with Ted, as I bring up the one and only, the one and only never phony, Aaliyah. <laughs> oh my God. My cheeks are hurting because I was just cheesing so much from the opportunity of being on your podcast. Like, oh, my God, so much energy, so much information, so much love from the the, the community. Yes. Uh, shout out to shout out to all those that came live. A shout out to all those that are uh, even joining in. Oh, shout out to a few of the coaches I just saw join. Um, but definitely shout out to you, Trills, because I appreciate not only are you the platform, you you have the platform on multiple fronts, right? You got the platform, go hard, go homeless. You got ride share domination. I mean, literally, goodness. <laughs> I'm grateful. Thank you. So, oh, look, <laughs> part two, part two. Friends was on live. I mean, was on the on on the. On the uh... Uh, podcast. Tony was on the podcast. Friends on the podcast. Listen, what what bars y'all got from the podcast, man? You know what I'm saying? Let, let people know what bars y'all got from Miss Leah. Because Miss Leah laid that thing down. We got we got to do a part two. And the part two <laughs> is going to be even crazier because we're going to go over some more businesses. But not just that. What are we going to be doing, uh, Miss Leah? So we're going to talk more about the score, what to do with it once you get the once you get your score, because a lot of people think, oh, I got the score. I'm good enough. No, no, no. You need to get more money, more funding. Um, and then also to go for funding that is just business only. Uh, I know we didn't talk about personal credit, but you don't necessarily have to just do um, financing options. You can there are some business credit options as well. So, you know, knowing those tools as well. And then also. What happens when you get all this money? What you doing with it? You know, <laughs> like how you leveraging it? Um, how are you leveraging the numbers? How are you using it to your advantage? How are you able to uh, maximize the actual credit scores? Um, and so we're going to talk more about that. We're going to have some real live people, uh, either from my coaching collective um, or some that may have gone through a 45 day challenge. Um, and we're going to bring them up on a call and see their results. Because a lot of what you see out here, people telling you to source, telling you what to do, but, you know, at the same token, seeing real live experience, that's going to let you know how tangible, how reasonable, and definitely how attainable it is for you to have not only the scores, but the money to go with the scores. Let me say something right now. Yesterday's prices is not today's prices. We're going to let you know right now. 
yesterday's prices is no longer today's prices. So when you hit her up, just know that yesterday's prices it's not today's <laughs> prices because she laid that thing down. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go right over to GHGH Podcast Live and catch the replay before that thing goes up. All right? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Couple of balls she had that was crazy, right? How many of you guys have got a, a, a cooking order? I mean, an online business, right? And you like, oh, I got my online business structure. I'm good. Blase, blase, boo, 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 right? <laughs> Did you know? Because I didn't know. Because I'm about to do it too, y'all. But did you know? <laughs> I'm sorry that kept the replay. Go ahead on the podcast and find out. No, I'm joking, y'all. I ain't going to do it like that. <laughs> I ain't going to do it like that. But uh, 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 take some notes. Listen, did you know that you can actually go acquire some land and then put your business name, your online business name, on that piece of land, and now you are in the records it, with the deed that this business has a physical location. Yeah. Right? You need to build a land. You can hold land now, own land, put a business on the deed, and now your business structure or your business is now what? Crazy. It got some 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 weight to it. Elaborate, Miss Miss Leah. That's what I picked up. Elaborate, Miss Leah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel like y'all gotta y'all gotta make sure to head over to YouTube and go ahead and and watch that replay. But I'll I'll let you know this. When you are applying for funding, uh, you having uh, your actual LLC on the the record of deeds in your state, in your county, um, actually is a database to which uh, companies and vendors and lenders can find you and see that you've invested not only in your business, but you've invested in obtaining property or land so that you could actually build and develop your organization. So you're investing using your LLC and your LLC is in the record. So, you know, that, 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 this, no, no, we give them no more sauce. We just coming to give you a little bit of what's on the podcast, because when you go there, I need to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and get the full interview. But that's just one thing that we talked about, right? You gotta understand, people thinking that business credit is just business funding, business credit, but there's a whole number of life besides that, right? We need to build the thing so strong. So she went over to 16 myths, really, 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 and dived in. And then we did a couple of uh, look at your business. So part two, we're gonna look at some of your guys' business. So you've got to stay tuned. And matter of fact, if you guys wanna tap into what Miss Leah has been doing, text the word business to 470-333-1430. Yeah, 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 you heard? Because when you tap back that in, we're going to send you a form to fill out. So if you want to actually get her services or inquire about what she really does, and actually take your business from nowhere to somewhere or somewhere that's extraordinary, right? Because she said what? Cheap is the new expensive. Woo! Cheap <laughs> is the new expensive. I'm making sure. Y'all already know the shit coming out. You feel me? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Cheap is the new expensive. Um, you know, and it's it's true. You know, a lot of the times when I was telling shows behind the scenes, I was like, you know, business credit is one side of business. There are so many different components. Um, and I'm going to continue to shout out my coaches because uh, they show me perpetually how there's so many facets of the organizations and how you need funding to grow those things, you know. And so if you know that you want to have a really successful, thriving organization, you have to have the funding. But at the same time, you also need to know what you're going to do with the funding. And so me as a business strategist is really, you know, coming. We were actually talking to Martina just now. And Martina was like, but I got this and I got this. Oh, but you need to do this. Oh, my God. The ideas. <laughs> and it's like as a strategist who lives in perpetual change. I'm always, you know, finding ways, innovative ways to help you do what you have to do with resources that you're not even thinking of. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have land in a in a good state, for instance, if they pass legal legalization or if they pass, um, you know, you're able to. Because hemp is nationally recognized, 
But if you have land, guess what? Now you have another extension of your business that you can grow. And then you can start to build a whole nother piece of organization just on your land alone. So, you know, it's things like that where, you know, as a business, as a business strategist is helping you to actually capitalize on other people's money, including business credit. So it's really important uh, to have that because once you get the business credit, someone give you $100,000, what you going to do with it? How can you reinvest it? How can you recapture it? How can you make a hundred thousand into two hundred thousand into four hundred thousand to a million dollars? Um, and it comes with strategy to know um, how your you know your organization is going to grow. So definitely, um, I'm looking forward to part two because, <laughs> like I said, you know um, I know uh, Mega Solutions is on here, aka Farron. Uh, who leveled me up and I'm going to constantly shout her out because um, if you as an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, running your operations by yourself all the time, know that a team is what makes you a entrepreneur. If you do not have a team, you is just working a job. So, you know, funding, because um, that's another thing, too, we didn't mention. Um, when you actually have the actual um income statements coming into these merchant accounts such as like stripe such as paypal they can extend you a business only loan that don't even require um your personal security your social security number why because they see how much money is rolling in oh wait you got twenty thousand here you could borrow twenty you could borrow eight thousand here you go oh you got a hundred thousand oh let like, you can borrow fifty thousand and they don't even need your social security number. All they going on is based on your accounts receivable. Mm -hmm. So, um, so definitely, you know, it's stuff like that where it's just like, you don't even have to go that far in building, um, again, business financing and business credit together will help your organizations propel, uh, to have teams. Right. Um, Cause you guys understand you want your business to be built like the big boys to what for the purpose of what? So that you can walk away and come back and make more money when you was when you walked away. When I say walk away, walk away, you can go on a, a vacation, go and, and and think and 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 just go and sit there and imagine. Because that's where the real money, that's where the billion dollars of creation are coming from. You, you by your imagination, and you have people implement your imagination, and that's where the billions come from, right? So you got time to go sit there and imagine what you want your life and your business to grow to. And if you can't do that because you're in your business instead of on your business, this is why this is important to understand you go from uh, uh, a hustler to an entrepreneur to a business owner and then to a, a legacy builder. Invest. All right. Yeah. Invest. Yeah. And that's the thing, too, is that when you have when you have money like this, um, you know, if you don't want to start a trucking company, great. Don't. But it, that that wallet that you got, that that uh, bankroll that you created, go ahead and now you can start to invest into other small businesses. And now you're just getting a paid percentage off of your money. And it ain't even your money. <laughs> so this is where it's like, how you leveraging other people's money to get you even more money um, and to do so utilizing business credit. And that's, so, that's a cool thing what you're saying, Leah, because like I said, when you're, when you're knowing your business, but somebody else is going to buy your business. You'll know when you're a business when somebody's actually looking to pay you for that business because they understand that the business doesn't revolve around you. That means the business, right. you know what I'm saying? You can't sell a business that revolves around yourself, right? Yep. If, if, the, if the anchor and the strong point of that business is you, it's unsellable, right? Yep. So th that's why it's always, always the structure business and make sure that you have people in place that you can at any given moment come out the business but the business still runs and thrives because of the business and what it stands for and what it produces no matter who's in the seat right and this and as a business as a business strategist and uh, my coaches will tell you we roadmap you i'll give you a roadmap because you need to know where you're going why because once you build out your roadmap you have been a model to keep your road your your business going and that's the thing you say that 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 part right there you want to be um self-sustaining automated you want to be uh you know business not relying on you you go away for six months come back and you know your business is still running you got to build a model that has a flowing system of products as well as as team as well as um workflows all that together working like a machine for you to walk away because we're talking about having multiple streams of income not multiple jobs 
And a lot of the times, you got so many solopreneurs, oh, I do this and I do this and I do this. <laughs> what happens if you don't do that? You know, when you expire, when you're not really, um, you know, able to do all the things that you desire to do, it's not going to run. <laughs> so the goal is, you know, when you move from solopreneur to entrepreneur, you move from there to investor because guess what? You don't need to do your job. You uh, you don't need to work a job. You don't need to work your business because literally you have put in place all the systems to make sure that it can run on itself. But I'm going to tell you this. When I leveled up with Maven Solutions, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh, I need to make some investments in these workflows and all of these. And I'm like, oh, oh but great. Mm -hmm. I got some money over here because I got a business loan from Stripe. Okay, cool. I got that. And now I'm leveling up. And now my client, my, now my coaches and my um my staff can take care of the system that I'm building because I was funded to afford to bring on more people. So it's stuff like that where people aren't thinking, oh, what am I going to, you know, I'm going to just get business credit. No, nah, it's more than that. What are you doing to structure your organization so that it can run without you? And if anyone is interested in two books that I highly recommend, it's E-Myth by Michael Gerber, because that's exactly what um, Chills is talking about. You entrepreneurs, you either a manager or you an ex a technician. You need to bring people in to manage your business that they can manage the staff so you can go ahead and continue to be creative and create more for your businesses while other people are running them for you. And then the other book, I didn't even know I was implementing this, but I tell people my program is three months. You can't do a lot in 90 days. Guess what? Either you don't work, we don't work, or you graduated and you've done everything you needed to do. But my program, even after that, it's like, okay, now you got the money. Three more months, you need to be able to have more money than you started with because you have business credit. After six months, now, man, you need to graduate. You need another mentor. You need someone that you're ready for in your industry. Um, and, you know, I'm making sure you got the right structure and you got the right tools mm -hmm. to make sure that you can, um, you know, rise with the money that you obtained while coaching with me. So... Like I said, it's, it's, I'm definitely more than just a business credit, you know, expert, uh, professional, but more of like, let's, let's strategize you so that you could, in, tw in 10 years, I could be like, I remember when you was wearing training wheels. Oh my God, look at your Fortune 500 company now. Like, you know, <laughs> so, so that's, that's kind of where I'm like, I want all of you guys to have big businesses. Um, and it takes, it takes you mm -hmm. making sure mm -hmm. that you, you know, you, you are executing and not on a, a short time, but rapidly. So what was that? Yeah, book 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 that you about to mention? So the second book is called 12 week year. Mm. And I found out about it through, um, earn your leisure. Cause I'm an earner. Um, and so when it comes, <laughs> parents said it, I'm an elevation mm -hmm. expert because <laughs> I make sure you rise. <laughs> so no, 12 week year is, um, is maximizing a, a quarter. You know, we get four quarters in a year and you notice November, December, January, uh, um, uh, October, November, December, everyone's like, Oh, it's the end of the year. We got to do all these things. We got to make sure everything happens before the close of the year. There's such an urgency and priority at the last quarter. Imagine if you had that same sense of urgency the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter. You then technically have four quarters, four years in one year. Mm. Because you're making sure that you're, you, there's no time delay or, oh, I, I, I got to meet here and I got to wait these amount of weeks. No, you don't have weeks. Your weeks are now shrunken down to days. And your days is now shut, shortened down to hours and seconds, you know, and where you're you're not waiting to see uh, results you're actually in nine that's why i said in 90 days a lot can happen not only could that score generate but you could get cars now so oh i just yeah, put it right now the 12 week year is in my article baby <laughs> that's my baby. right Here's another book i want to help y'all understand if you don't got the who not how book you want to get the who not how because once I understood that and digested that and started to, you know, implement that, I now was able to focus on my must mission. Your must, everybody hashtag must mission. I'm going to hashtag it for you. Must mission. Here's the deal. You need to start working towards your must mission, thing that you must do before you leave this universe, right? The must mission, right? Because if you don't 
You're not working on your month's mission. Everything else is distracting you from completing your month mission. Right? What do you yeah. must do? No one else can do this but you. It's, the, it's your must mission. So if it's not something that comes out of your must mission, you delegate. I don't, yeah. I, it's not a must for me to clean my house. I delegate cleaning my house. It's not a must for me to go in and wash my own clothes. I, I let somebody wash my own clothes. It's not a must for me to even cook my own food. So after I cook my own food, right? So that, that same time it would take me to cook that food, parallel to this cooking right here, I'm able to work on my must mission. So the food's yeah. cooked and done, and also my working on my month's mission. First of me cooking, and then going back to my month's mission. Cleaning my house, and then going back to my month's mission. Cleaning my clothes, and then going back to my month's mission. Now they're both running parallel. I'm impacting my own life by giving them money to go do things that I'm not, it's not in my, in my month's mission to do, right? So part of this business process is, is part of your month's mission. All you business owners, all you brick and mortar cooking order, there's a must mission in everything you do, that you do. And everything that's not a part of your must mission, you must delegate. Okay? And you know what? It's a, and it's another thing, too, is uh, uh, Rockefeller said it best. You know, own nothing, control everything. You know what you can, when you step into that mindset of not owning things, not owning the job, not owning, uh, oh, this is my company. I have to do it. I, I have to be the, no. When you let that go and you control all the staff that are doing it or you control the operations because you've implemented who's running your business, this is where you then can move into again. I mean, the, the, I mean, Rockefeller, Rockefeller meant that for another thing, another way of, you know, you actually having wealth. But at the same time, that same mentality when it comes down to you having, cause I see a lot of solopreneurs and they're like, oh man, I can't trust people to run my business. Dude, that's not a must mission. <laughs> you you must not run your business by no. yourself all the time. No. <laughs> like, Definitely not a must mission. Because all the biggest companies that you enjoy and love and, and, and patronize, you don't really see the owner over there working and putting in that stuff. They had to trust the process. People yeah. Process product, right? Trust the product, trust the people, trust the process, and then you have your must mission in full action, right? At the end of the day, you gotta understand. Until you put people in place, you just got a business, a, a glorified job that you own and run. Who wants to do that, right? Yep. You say your, your true time is your true currency is your time, and mm -hmm. the paper that we have. Is not our true currency. I would trade this paper all day long to access and enjoy my true currency. This is paper that I get to trade for my time. Just like any job that you're working at, they traded their paper for their time. Okay? Yeah. I'll give you an example, y'all. Why you think social media, do you ever see Zuckerberg doing Facebook Lives? <laughs> do you ever see him doing Instagram Lives? Ever. Mm -hmm. He owns the platform that generated him an income that we all depend on, but he doesn't even use his own product. Yeah. Just think about that. And that's yeah. and that and it really is, you know, if we really want to be great, just think of how many businesses are just being run by one person. Mm. None. So if we look at it. Um, you know, and I, I really, I toot my horn with Mavis Solutions. Um, and it, uh, I, I really appreciate Farron because when she did help me like level up in regards to like finding my, my virtual staff, I was like, man, like so much was alleviated just by me. I was like, you know what? I want that person, that person, that person ended up within a matter of like a week and six weeks had nine staffers. And then I had a full service company just, just like that. In a matter of six in a matter of six weeks of working with parents, so I'm like it's stuff like that where it's like wait, in six weeks I could have had this. Imagine what I did at the beginning of this year. <laughs> I'd have had like <laughs> six companies by the end of the uh, by the by the end of the the second quarter. So it's stuff like that where it's like you want to be great. The business credit is great. It's essential. It will get you money. Having a solid business with income statements, uh, with bank statements, with, you know, good record keeping is going to help you to then propel your organization because people want to invest in you. So it's, it's so 
Part two, when you guys are going to tune into that, it's going to be more than just a business credit. It's going to be a little bit more. We're going to talk about strategy for each person, right? Each person that comes on is like, okay, what you doing? What's your roadmap? Where's your money coming in? Because like I said, it's really, it's irresponsible for me to teach you how to get business credit and you don't know how to sustain it or even leverage it to maximize or even triple or double uh, or quadruple your income. So, you know, it's, it's more of like, okay, now you got the tools, what we building? 100%. This is why I tell you guys, if you haven't joined our live podcast list notification, I want you to do this. I mean, text the word podcast to 470-333-1430. Text the word podcast to 470-333-1430 so that you get notified when we go live for part two or any of my podcasts. So, you won't miss it and you'll be able to get to ask your question or be interviewed live on the podcast when we do part two. Make sure you tap in and stay tuned in. So, Miss Leah, I appreciate you so much, Superstar. We crushed that. You crushed that podcast show today. Episode seven, y'all, of the Go Home, Go Hard, Go Home podcast. That's where you catch Miss Leah at. Episode seven on the Go Hard, Go Home podcast. You'll be able to catch it on iTunes, Spotify, anywhere podcast live. You'll catch the interview. So, you can listen to her over and over again in your ears. Or jump over to the to the uh, the podcast uh, website G H G H Podcast Live and watch the live interview. Leave your f- feedback on in the comments below when you do. Like that, subscribe. Uh, like that, like the page and smash that subscribe button. Hit that thing. And don't forget to share it. Don't forget to share it because I'm sure you know other business owners that could use the gems and they could definitely use a little bit more support and build a their empire. So one entrepreneur should know multiple entrepreneurs. Make sure, make sure you share it. Not only subscribe, not only like, not only comment, but go ahead and share it to your community. You got to make sure the community, especially the culture, knows how to do it right because we need it. <laughs> so. So, guys, like I always say, be great because you are great. Because here at Trillion Elite, we're not average, y'all. We're elite. I'll see you guys next live. Peace.